Hi family, welcome or welcome back to Mystic Medicine. My name is Kalea and I'm getting straight into the video about ascension, balancing, you know, support. I'm, I'm answering some questions that I received because I feel like it would be really helpful for you guys along your journeys. That way you can understand what is taking place within your body with this whole ascension process because I know our human minds get really sensitive and it's hard to make sense out of these symptoms or what we experience what we go through so this is why i am making this video for you all so ascension is very physical the awakened kundalini energy is purging and clearing out density energy blockages and overall strengthening you know your health and your vitality because you are experiencing you know a true deep purification with this energy the energy lies dormant at your spine and then it begins to rise up to clear certain blockages from certain chakra centers you are grounding in more light into this physical expression you know this physical body which is a process it's not an all-in-one it's not a okay i have one round and then it's over with because that will be extremely extremely intense and we will actually electrically burn out and possibly even like you know no more physical body because that will be too much on the body so this energy is really wise it's intelligent so it knows what to do like your soul will not give you too much of what you can't handle and also you will never be in a situation that you cannot handle so i want you guys to just remember and i hope with this video that you know that you are safe within this process no matter what that you are safe and you are heavily 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 supported and protected during this process and just along this journey overall ascending is really not about where you're going like physically so it's not about you going to a like a physical place but you're accessing those higher dimensions within yourself and this kundalini energy is allowing you to actually embody that because you are grounding light into the physical body you know as light is coming in it inevitably will push up unconscious beliefs and blockages and things within your system that just needs to be cleared away so that is what's happening throughout this entire process and this journey but what i realized that can stagnate other people and even with myself that i've experienced you know my journey a good number of times i was making an identity out of it because this is when i was trying to understand what was happening i'm like okay like is this me doing this like you know what is going on with me like i was all over the place i felt insane i felt crazy you know it was literally driving me insane at a point i even spoke to other people as well and i found this common pattern within the ascension collective be it if you are on a twin flame journey or not i feel like when it comes to ascension people will make an identity out of what is being released instead of being a witness and, a, and instead of observing what's happening and just letting it pass and letting it clear most times it is not you actually doing this it is the energy and being as though you're very energy sensitive you're very in tune to energy you feel energy a lot it's important to be mindful of what's yours and what is not yours the energy wants to flow through you in a free way but when it finds something you know and it hits a blockage it will push that up and you will be experiencing symptoms you know emotionally mentally you know the physical symptoms of it i will get more into how we can support our bodies through this physical process but that is what is happening so i don't want you guys to think it's you doing that you don't have to make an identity out of it because i found that when there is a lot of energy going on inside of the body we can then start producing more unconscious thoughts or habits from the energy that we're feeling within ourselves so for example when there's a full moon or when there's a lot of cosmic activity going on us as sensitive beings as star seeds you know we can feel that energy and it can feel like anxiety it can feel like there's a lot of things going on inside of us and we get really really anxious so then we start to project thoughts from the anxiousness but those thoughts are just from all of the energy that you're feeling within yourself so that's why it's best to clear that immediately and do whatever you need to do to ground yourself or just simply remind yourself that it's just energy and that it will pass because i a lot guys was making 
certain identities or projecting thoughts from what I was feeling because I was, you know, feeling so much you know, intense energy in my body. And at the times where I did not know what was happening, it was, you know, making me kind of freak out and making me kind of like think all these crazy things or crazy thoughts was coming up that I didn't know how to deal with most times because I wasn't understanding fully what was taking place. Now I have a better understanding. You're returning back to who you are. You're basically returning back to your natural, true form, your natural state. Your crystalline structure is also forming as well. So you are becoming literally a full light body. There will be less density within you. There will be, you know, less negative energy inside of you because you are basically transforming your body into pure light into soul you know your soul is grounding in the body so now i want to get into the different symptoms that you could feel possibly and i even touched on some of this in my kundalini awakening story so if you're interested in that i will link that below for you guys so this is what i've realized okay along this path thus far our bodies are going to require much 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 more when there are many energetic shifts you know taking place we may need to be eating way more food than we are because the body is using up a lot of minerals and nutrients for this process that it's going through and i realized that my appetite is just way 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 bigger like i basically need to eat a little bit more to stay grounded in my body so the ungroundedness that we could feel along this journey could be due to what you're not putting inside of your body. And it's trial and error, guys. So there's a lot of things literally I've been experimenting with and testing out to see more of what I need because there's no one size fits all to this journey, which is why I want to empower you guys and encourage you guys to try to see what works, you know, for your particular body type or for what your body is needing and craving for. Because sometimes it doesn't look the same as someone else's. I don't like to put out there that, you know, somebody should be following, you know, a certain regimen or a certain diet because that just may not be the case for everyone. Now, I've tried out many diets. I'm a very holistic person, so I'm very interested in like holistic health and healthy eating. Like I love to eat for my health. You know, I love to just give my body what it exactly needs. Explore what works for you completely along your journey. Like this is your path, guys. This is your journey. Find out what works for you. We are already burning off a lot with all this energetic work and what we're clearing. So we need to make sure we're adding the necessary nutrients and minerals, you know, back into our bodies. So that way we can maintain a healthy state. That way we can stay balanced. And like I said, stay grounded in our vessels because I realize that if I do not eat enough and if I don't have enough inside of me, I will literally like leave my vessel. Like I won't really be there. I will be spacey. I will feel crazy. I will be just completely ungrounded up in my mind. And then once I get what I need in my body, I feel good. I feel sane. I'm more in a clearer, grounded space. So if you are feeling ungrounded and like nothing like is seeming to work, it could be that you need to look into your diet and intuitively add certain foods that your body is asking for. Because everyone's body is going to be adjusting to ascension differently. You know, everyone's body is super different. So that's why I encourage you guys, please, please, please test out and try out what works for you. Keep your electrolytes balanced. You know, you need minerals, you need nutrients, and you need a lot of water. You know, you need things that's going to hydrate your joints, hydrate your bones. You know, you don't want to develop any arthritis. You don't want to develop inflammation because I have found that that can happen if you are not properly taking care of yourself. And this leads me into not everything is an ascension symptom, guys. It could be that due to your ascension process, you're not giving yourself what you need. Your body is calling for and asking for more food and more minerals. And if you don't give yourself what your body is asking for, 
that can develop other physical discomforts within yourself because at times it can be a certain ingredient you know you could be needing more stews or just more richer broths to get those you know minerals in you may need some bone broth you may need some beef broth you may need to eat some more soups you know eat some more filling foods you know get your proteins in like get a variety in your diet that will be very beneficial being as though we have these high frequencies coming in it doesn't always feel comfortable inside of the physical body because we need to adjust like i said to those higher frequencies but also give our bodies what we most need we need a lot a lot a lot of water as empaths as you know we're going through this spiritual purification because as you're going through energetic shifts you will dehydrate quicker as you're going through those process of shifting certain energies and clearing certain blockages out of your vessel and that also just assists with you know healing overall within your body and like i said we need to make sure we are internally moisturized okay we need that moisture we need our vegetables we need our fruits we need those necessary nutrients now, of course, if you are truly concerned, I will advise you to visit a medical physician. If they can't detect anything, then you know, of course, it's spiritual related. But we do not want anything to manifest physically due to us not taking care of ourselves. OK, so I hope that helps. I hope that gives you better insights about these ascension symptoms or just this ascension process as far as what we are needing for our bodies. And I want to actually give you guys an example. I have noticed that my body requires a lot of liquid. I'm telling you guys, I can drink literally a smoothie. Like I would say it could be this big in size and I don't feel full at all. Like I will get like extra, extra larges of smoothies, drinking a lot of water and I don't feel full. Like it's not like it bloats me. It doesn't make me feel like, you know, all pudgy. And then I still have room for a full meal, another meal after that, and another meal after that. Like, literally, like, the body needs a lot during this process. And like I said, everyone's body is different. So you may be on the opposite end. Even if you are not wanting a lot of food, we still need nutrients and minerals, especially if we want to minimize any symptoms, like I said. So I found that when I do not have enough in my body, that's when I experience more things more intensely if I don't have enough. But once I start getting enough inside of my system, inside of my body, I instantly feel so much better. Because when it comes to grounding, there's so many different ways to ground. But if you are needing something inside of yourself, like inside of your body, the nature part, you know, just won't do. Trying to do certain things just won't work because your body is asking for something specific. Also, as you are ascending, you begin to relate to time differently. So you may at times feel like you, you're stuck in time or that time is speeding up or it's slowing down or you just don't have a care to like look at the time or base your days around the time. You're just like intuitively living and flowing. I realize that is an effect of ascension. Also, as you are going through certain shifts within yourself, you could temporarily, you know, have memory loss or you just don't have that recollection coming to you as clearly, but that is just due to what you're shifting through. So I noticed that us as star seeds, since we are not from Earth, you know, I realize that our high frequencies that we carry within us, at times it can, you know, feel kind of difficult to fit into the mundane or just into how things primarily are done on this planet so if you are experiencing this i want to let you know that it is normal i experience it too when i go through those shifts and when i'm grounding in those colds and being in those higher dimensions i don't really relate to time you know the same way that i used to because we're basically vibrating outside of it like our vibration is really really high because we don't really need to have our memory when we are in those higher timelines because 
we're going to be intuitively led you know especially by our heart space so that is what this process is also doing as, as well it's to allow you to live more presently and flow within those higher dimensions how can we balance the physical and the spiritual so as you start ascending you are ultimately creating your own life, your own rules. You are living by your own standards within your own soul. So whatever your soul is calling for, however you are called to do certain things is what your soul wants, is what your soul desires. And I noticed how most times so when there are those frequency upgrades or those shifts or when the solar flares are coming in, we feel that really intensely than most people because we're very empathetic we're very sensitive that's why it's so 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 important to do what you need to do for your body if you're not taking care of your body through the process it can actually exacerbate your symptoms you can find that your symptoms are more amplified especially if you are you know worrying or doubting or you know fearing the process because those energies or emotions are just more denser so the light you know the kundalini is trying to push up against that density and like your ego and like the soul is kind of like trying to you know box it out but you are safe through this process you just need the right support for your body then this is another thing as well that we can further touch on when it comes to my coaching and my services because this is all around the board tailored support for you along your journey because everyone's path is still so unique and things are not one size fits all we can't just place things into a box and leave it like that you know everyone is super super different and we all you know need certain things if you do need further private one-on-one -on -one support if you are just having a not so easy time with this ascension process or this journey and you need to speak to someone this is why i offer one-on-one -on -one services that you can check out if you feel called to that now nervous system regulation okay regulate regulate your nervous systems please we are very very sensitive beings we can get very overstimulated very easily i personally tape reminders okay i take reminders on my wall for things i can do for myself when i am overstimulated when there is too much going on now us as a society as a population is constantly stimulated as it is because that's how the world is designed the world has pushed out so many things upon us to just consume 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 but being on this journey is like our nervous systems are sensitive but like it's times 20 times 30 because our nervous systems are constantly being activated by the energies and at times you can feel like okay what am i supposed to do with all of what's happening so yeah there is trial and error with this as well because it's all about what works for you and what you feel called to this is one suggestion that i um that i tried out for myself so i would get an ice cold like bowl a bowl big enough that i can like you know dip my face in and during the times where i needed where i needed to just calm down and like reduce my anxiety i would put my face in ice cold water freezing cold and that will help me you know calm down and bring the energies down i would do a lot of research on the vagus nerve you know to reduce stress so i am not experiencing any stress i would do tapping like tapping and just reminding myself that I am safe. Also even talk to myself, like calm myself down, kiss on myself, caress myself to give myself those gentle touches so my mind and my human can feel safe with the process and feel safe again with all the nervous system activations and things like that. Of course, this leads back into diet as well because food, of course, can support your nervous system. And if you put the right things in your body, that can help you ease what you're feeling or what you're shifting and moving through i find water to be very beneficial for sensitive people so if you need to cleanse and recharge your energy you cannot go wrong with 
energy cleansing baths that I've spoke about in actually a couple videos. You can intuitively guide yourself when it comes to that. You know, get your salts, your minerals, Epsom salt baths, of course, foot soaks. The way you can tell that this energy is present within you and that this energy is moving within you is that you will feel just heat suddenly come over you or move through you. And that is where the kundalini energy is present. So at times I will feel like heat in my ears and my head move right here or like in my sacral root chakra area or my feet. And that is just indicating where the energy is moving through and what's, you know, being cleared. Because luckily for us, there's nothing we can do to stop this energy. And it's ultimately helping you because it's purifying your being. So when she's up, she's up. Or you can even sometimes experience, you know, chills when it's like frequency upgrades. So your body temperature can shift. I know for me, when I was healing my masculine energy, I was sweating a lot. So I was like drenching sweat most times. And my body temperature, I noticed, was more hot. But of course, if I was to get my temperature checked, it didn't indicate that. So that let me know that was just simply, you know, spiritual related. That was just due to how the energy was trying to clear me out and purify my body. And then when I was healing my feminine energy, I was actually more flushed. You know, I wasn't actually really, really hot. I actually was more cold. So you go through just a lot of shifts and changes within your body as you are grounding in more of that light. Like I said, grounding in your soul. All in all, this process is for your highest and your best good, but you really need to make sure that you are doing what you need to do to take care of yourself because that is what can cause, you know, stagnation on the journey that people don't realize because they start to project these thoughts and, you know, run around in circles and start looping and looping. It's just due to the ungroundedness and what you could be projecting from the energy. Also not properly meeting your needs from all the ascension changes and upgrades. So I hope all that I shared was helpful for you guys. I hope you can get a lot of insights out of it. And I hope you guys stay well, stay healthy, and take care of yourselves. Like I said before, my services are linked below if you need additional help and support. I am here for you guys. I am sending you guys so much of my love. And until next time, I will see you guys all in my next video.